<laughs> Merry Christmas! Hi, boys and girls, it's Miss Cockrell. I want to talk to you about the five parts of a letter, okay? We have five parts of a letter. We have a heading, we have a greeting, we have a body, we have closing, and we have a signature, boys and girls, okay? So when you're writing a letter, I want you to think about Santa Claus, okay? We're all getting excited because we're getting excited about writing our letters to Santa Claus. And when you start thinking about the five parts of a letter, I want you to think, here's Santa Claus right here. What's at the top part of Santa Claus? His head and his hat, okay? So the heading has, boys and girls, the address, but it always includes the date. So you would put the date up at the top of your paper, just like Santa Claus's head is at the top of his body. You would put the heading right there on the top, okay? Then we have a greeting. We have the greeting. That's the next part of a letter. And you see where Santa Claus is smiling right there? That's the greeting. And that's when you say, dear, okay? Dear Santa Claus. That's your greeting, okay? After that, you have Santa Claus's body, okay? You have the body, all right? And you can say whatever you want to say to Santa Claus, okay? After that, you come down and you see Santa Claus. He's got some green socks on right here. And you see the closing, boys and girls. And you could say your friend or sincerely or something like that. That would be the closing, okay? And the first letter of the closing is capitalized. If you've got two words, the second word is not capitalized. So if you have your friend, the your, the Y in your would be capitalized. And then you have friend, it's not capitalized. And then you have a comma, okay? Then you have the signature. If you look down there, you see Santa Claus. He's got his boots on or his black shoes right there. And the, sig the signature is where you write your name, okay? So, I'm going to flip Santa over right here. The things that we need to remember are, the things that we need to remember, boys and girls, are the date goes up here, okay? That's the heading. That's the top part of Santa Claus, okay? Then we have the greeting. That's where Santa Claus is smiling, okay? Then we have, a, we put a comma after the greeting. Then we have the body. This is whatever we want to say in our letter. And we have as many lines as we need to say what we need to say to Santa. Then we have our closing and a comma, and then we sign our name, and that is the signature, okay? So let's practice writing a letter to Santa. Hi, boys and girls. So now we're going to write our letter to Santa. So we're going to start with our heading, boys and girls. And we know the heading is going to have the date at the top. So let's put our date at the top. You can see I'm going to write the date at the top. I'm going to say uh, Wednesday. Um, December. Second. 2020. If you'll notice where I put those commas, boys and girls, you'll notice that I put a comma after the day. And I put a comma after the number. Wednesday with a capital W, December, capital D. I've got a period there because I made an abbreviation. And then I've got a comma after the number in 2020. So that is my heading, boys and girls, okay? Now, I'm going to move on along. What else do I need to do? Well, I'm looking back at my Santa. I'm going to look back at my Santa. I know the heading's at the top with my date, okay? But now, I need to look at my greeting. And if you can see, Santa Claus is smiling right there. So, I'm going to start with my greeting, okay? So, I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to start with my greeting. I'm going to say, I'm going to skip a, uh, a line and I'm going to say, Dear, now make sure my dear is capitalized, Dear Santa. Now, where am I going to put my comma? I don't want to put my comma, boys and girls. I don't want to put it after the dear. I want to put it after Santa, okay? So I'm going to put my comma right here, all right? Then I've got now 
Now, so far, boys and girls, if you'll look, I have my heading. I have my greeting. Now, I need to make my body the body of Santa, okay? So, you know, you can think about all the things you've always wanted to ask Santa. You know, Santa, what's your favorite Christmas song? Santa, who's your favorite reindeer? Santa, what's the last book you read? Um, there's all kinds of things. Santa, do you really like milk and cookies? So, I'm going to start out, I said, Dear Santa, and now, I've started with my greeting, and now I'm going to ask Santa a question. I don't want to be rude and just start asking for presents. So, I'm going to say, How are you? So, I'm going to skip a line, and I'm going to move it on over, because I'm in Denny. I'm going to say... How are you? In the first line of a sentence, when you're writing a paragraph, you move it on over because you indent. Okay, so I'm going to say, how are you doing? All right. And then I could say, I'm doing well or I'm doing great. Okay. I am doing Just fine. Maybe I'll put an exclamation point there, okay? All right, so now I could say something like, um, I'm going to start my next paragraph. I could say, I think I want to think about, um, I think I want to write about whether I, he thinks that I'm on the naughty or nice list or something like that. So I'm going to start my paragraph again. So I'm going to move it on over. So I'm going to say, I know you've been making a list and checking it twice. Sounds a lot like a song. I know you have been making a list to see if I was naughty, comma, because I have words in a series, naughty, comma, nice, or a perfect angel. And then I want you to ask yourself, now does that A need to be capitalized? No, it doesn't, because I'm not talking about somebody's name. I could be talking about any angel, so that A doesn't need to be capitalized. So I'm going to put a period at the end, because it's the end of my sentence, okay? All right, so now, guess what, boys and girls? I'm so smart. I have my heading. I have my greeting. I Now I'm working on my body right here, and I'm going to continue to work on my body. So you know what? I want to read what I have so far and see if I've done a good job. Wednesday, December 2nd, 2020. Dear Santa, how are you doing? I'm doing just fine. I know you have been making a list to see if I was naughty, comma, nice, comma, or a perfect angel. I have been nice. Okay? And I could say, I have been nice because I've been working really hard in school. I've been doing my work on my virtual lessons. And I've just been an all-around great kid, okay? So then you could just continue to talk to Santa. If you want to ask him what his favorite song is, if he really likes cookies and milk, what job would he have if he wasn't Santa, anything you want to ask him, you can, okay? And you finish that body, all right? So you're going to finish writing, okay? Boys and girls, you're going to finish writing what you want to write. You're going to make sure your sentences begin with capital letters and end in punctuation. Then you're going to give me the closing, boys and girls. You're going to say, your friend, okay? Your friend, Charlene. All right, that's my first name, okay? And then I'm going to sign my name. That's the signature, Charlene, okay? So at the bottom, it's going to look something like this. I'm not done with my body, but underneath the body, I'm going to write your friend. I told you that F didn't have to be capitalized, but the U and your does. And I'm going to, I'm going to sign my name. I'm going to sign Charlene because I know how to write in cursive, okay? All right. I hope
hope you enjoyed your lesson and I hope you do a really great job. Merry Christmas! Ho, 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 ho.